Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Landslide McQueen by developer Beartown Games. Uh, this is one of those sort of action physics type situations, sort of like maybe uh, Burnout Crash Mode or Turbo Dismount, where you're given a scenario and you have to try to maximize the amount of collisions or action or whatever the particular uh, thing happens to be in that one situation. And what we're trying to do here is we're a disgruntled, I believe we're a stockbroker in what's supposed to be New York City, although I have to say the color scheme may be a little bit brighter than I remember last time I was in New York. Uh, but we fly down a massive hill on our briefcase and our aim is to create as much discord as possible. And the idea is actually as we're riding our giant money filled briefcase down the hill, uh, we're trying to bleed out as much of that money as possible. And look at the bottom of the screen where the curb is. Dude's like walking sideways. That's pretty hilarious. I think it's just uh, they kind of spawn the NPCs on various horizontal tracks and that dude happened to spawn on the side of the the, the sidewalk there on the curb. All right, so why don't we jump right into things? It's a really short game. It's uh, one of those kind of short and sweet deals where it's just you go over and over again trying to get a better score. And the score I have right now, I don't know if I'll even beat. But I figured let's give it a shot and hopefully you'll enjoy this one. So here's our dude. He is uh, proudly mustachioed and we're ready to slide down the hill. So I'm going to press spacebar and then I'm going to start steering using either my arrow keys or WASD. And I can sh uh, shift my character very drastically and very quickly left and right. And I want to try and smash as many of these people into the other people as possible. You'll see they'll all start chain reactions and the more I can bounce off of walls and things the better. Uh, they're all generating money for me, and then when we get to the bottom of the hill, I'm going to try and go as horizontally as possible, and hopefully cause a massive chain reaction at the end. I just bounce off of some kind of invisible force field at the end, too. And then my briefcase smacks into that fence, and then starts shooting money in every direction. So that's basically the entirety of this version of Landslide McQueen. I have to say it is probably quite early along. Uh, and I was given a hint by that by their uh, download page where it says that there's like a 2.0 available back in December of 2014, but I wasn't able to find that version here. So I, you know, I played the one that I had, which I think is called uh, the 1.2 update. So let's do another run. And I do see a lot of potential here. I think that this is a really good art style. It's very cohesive. I really like the bright colors. The music is quite lovely as well. And the premise is basically always fun. I mean, I've never really run into one of these types of games that I didn't enjoy. Uh, the only way that I think this could really be messed up is if you just have terrible controls or it's just not gratifying for one reason or another. And this uh, is totally gratifying. I have no issues with that. Uh, I think maybe it could use a lot more in terms of content, obviously. I mean, more leaderboards, more places, more scenarios, all of that type of stuff. Even maybe having the physics tweaked a little bit, so maybe you uh, you try a mode where gravity's a little bit heavier or lighter or what have you. Uh, and then various times of the day, perhaps, where you could have different uh, loadouts of people. Look at this guy spinning to the left of the uh, scorecard there. Just kind of spinning in place on the side of his hip in the ground. Uh, and let's just restart again. You can also get some extra added points by jumping off of the bed of that one truck there. So I'm going to try and do that on this run. Just kind of make a quick run through here, and then we'll stop back in the way of the road. Hopefully it'll cause more chain reactions. And yeah, you get a little bit of money for doing that, but then you're so high in the air that you're probably not going to be able to make a lot more chain reactions, uh, which then also might end up costing you more money. So I guess it's a sort of a balancing act as it pertains to that, and I don't quite understand what happens to him when we get to the bottom of the hill. He just always kind of flips in through the air every single time. Uh, yeah, so going off the truck seems like kind of a bad idea for uh, if you want to get a high score. <laughs> At least that's what I've noticed for my uh, approximate runs here. So we're going to do another quick restart. Again, I kind of feel like this uh, feels a little bit more like San Francisco or something, which actually would be a lot more consistent with the massive hills than New York. Uh, but I could also see this going on like a world tour. Maybe there's uh, disgruntled workers in every city, and maybe each city has a defining characteristic, and then you could go and play up some kind of ridiculous uh, city geographical stereotype about whatever that city happens to be. And, you know, bring it to some comic relief level, because this is obviously a zany game. I mean, look at the ragdoll and my guy there. Look at him splitting up like that. That is crazy. That's some uh, Gary's Mod type deal. Uh, but I actually got an okay score on that one, 130,000, and my high score is still 194,000. We'll do one more here before we wrap things up. But I definitely enjoy the premise. I could also see uh, perhaps some sort of like an obstacle course, and I thought that's maybe what this was at first. I actually figured my character was supposed to avoid all the people, and that you'd be better off if that's the case. But nope, that's absolutely the opposite of the uh, the premise. 
Uh, I'd also kind of like it if the hill was just a lot longer too, but I also appreciate the fact that there are a lot of uh, polygonal characters here all interacting with each other. And uh, I, I was wondering at first why it got so slow, but I think it's probably just to maximize your ability to see what's going on where everything is just kind of flinging about and all of that. Let's quit to the menu and... You know, that's pretty much all there is to say on Landslide McQueen. It's a, a lot of fun, but it's also just not a huge, vast experience or anything like that. So if you're looking for something to kill 10 minutes, uh, I could certainly recommend uh, worse than this one. I think it's actually quite a bit of fun. And the uh, link is going to be in the description if you want to go give this one a play. Uh, feel free to post your high scores in the comments of this video and let me know what you think of this one. Uh, both on the, well, all complete things, uh, the art style, the music, the premise, the execution, the physics system, any of those con uh, general comments on the content of the game are welcomed if you want to chime in. So, go ahead and do that, and leave a like on the video too if you don't mind, because that helps me out a whole bunch, and then come on back tomorrow because there's a new episode of Indie Impressions that goes every single day. So if you're a fan of indie games, want to find out about new, artistic, original, and unique games in pretty much every genre, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and you will be just born into a world of vast indie game insanity. There's just like 850 plus of these things now. So there's plenty to see and do. And if you want to check out the website, indie-impressions.com, you'll find a lot over there. They're all tagged and sorted. So if you're looking for free games, arcade games, physics games, psychedelic, crazy, surreal games, uh, first-person exploration, stuff on Desera, like you name it, there's, there's a tag over there for pretty much everybody. So go give it a look and make sure you leave a comment because I like to keep the uh, conversation going whenever possible. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching, guys.